Hello, Organizing Hire. Welcome, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to do a first impressions on the app Taskade. A subscriber mentioned it to me a couple of weeks ago and asked me to check it out. So that's what I'm going to do. So I currently use Todoist and I've used it for five years, but I'm not going to compare Taskade to Todoist. Instead, what I'm going to do is pretend that Todoist for some reason has just gone dark. It doesn't work anymore. The whole team has just disappeared and I now need to find a new task manager and Taskade is a potential option for me. So I'm going to see if my current workflow with GTD can fit in a Taskade environment. I'll do this initial first impression. And then after a couple of weeks, I'll give a general summary of what I think about Taskade. I really like how intuitive Taskade is. I definitely get an Asana vibe from it. If you've ever used Asana before, there's a lot of stuff. I didn't really have to look up how to do it. I just knew how to do it. I knew how to add a project, how to add tasks, how to add subtasks. I did have a little bit of trouble with tags, but the fact that you're able to even have tags in the free version, I think is actually really great. I also love that you're able to get a free trial. I know there's some apps that don't give you a free trial or their trial is like a week and anything that's 14 days or longer in my book really gives you enough time to figure out if the tool is gonna work for you and if you need to pay for the version that they offer or if you can use the free version. I'm also really curious to explore the calendar view. I like the idea of being able to see in my task manager the tasks that I have coming up and comparing that to the things that I have on my calendar. So I look forward to playing around with that a little bit more. Some of the things that I'm a little bit concerned about are reminders versus due dates. It seems like they're the same thing in Taskade, so I'm not quite sure the distinction between me knowing if something is overdue versus if I just need to be reminded about something. There's also no centralized inbox. I feel like this is pretty common in team-oriented apps. If you are working with other people, you don't really need an inbox per se, or your inbox is just all the messages that other people have sent you. But if you're working as an individual, you definitely need an inbox. So I'm gonna have to try to figure out some kind of workaround for the inbox situation. If you're using Taskade, give me an idea of what you're doing right now so that way you don't have to work as hard. So again, this is just going to be my initial thoughts. I'm sure I'm going to get stuff wrong or misunderstand things, but this is me essentially opening the box of Taskade and kind of diving in a little bit. So keep watching to see how Taskade works for me so you can get an idea if it'll work for you. So one of the first things I noticed is I definitely get an Asana vibe from this. I love that things seem pretty intuitive. I can add due dates really quickly. I can add tasks really quickly. One thing I noticed that's kind of weird to me is when I change the due date to today, it's red. To me, red means overdue, so that would probably bother me. You can change the view from list to board. There's an action view, not really quite sure what that means. Looks like list view with boxes. Uh, mind map, which I could see could be useful if you're doing like brainstorming here or an org chart. Not really sure how that would be useful in multiple situations, but I guess if you need to make an org chart, you could do it here. You could also set a default view if you want to. I think I'll have the list view likely as default. That's usually what I like seeing. For views, they have a project view, which I could see could be convenient, especially if you're doing weekly reviews and you just want to see your projects really quickly could filter by assigned to me, which none of them are assigned to me because I don't need to do that. It's just me. They're all assigned to me. You could do by tasks, which could be great if you're doing a review and you're looking at your next actions. This needs to stand out way more. Well, I don't know why they would have that text so tiny. The fact that it's past due should be huge and like glaring in my face. And that's really surprising that they would have it set up that way. A roadmap, um, I guess it's kind of like a abbreviated calendar view, so it's not showing me the tasks that are due on Friday. Uh, there's templates you can make, which is awesome. Being able to have templates is makes saves a lot of time. Completed projects, which is great. I know a lot of people don't like that in Todoist. You can't have your task. You can't can't see your completed tasks in Todoist. It doesn't really bother me that much though. My workflow relies pretty heavily on tags and filters or labels and filters. If you've seen my Todoist GTD setup, you know that about my workflow. I'm pleased to see that Taskade does have tags of sort. 
I can tag a project pretty easily, but to tag a task, I need to type in hashtag first. I wish there was just a button that you could click instead of having to know that I have to type in a hashtag, but I was able to figure that out, not a huge issue. I also like with tasks that you can go pretty deep with subtasks. I never go this far, but for folks that do, you, you can. And it's got some space on the bottom here for dependencies, which is great. When it comes to workspaces, one thing that's not super intuitive is I would think if I click on this My Tasks area, it would show me the tasks that I have, but apparently not. I have to assign the tasks to myself for them to show up here. That seems like a, an annoyance that I wouldn't like, but something I'll have to deal with, I guess. With the calendar, it looks pretty much like you would expect a calendar to look, which is great. I'm able to see a today view. That could be the equivalent of a today view in Todoist, which is great. Uh, agenda view, uh, of course, month and week view. I really like this because it gives you the chance to kind of see big picture how things are impacting other things. So I really like the calendar view. Looks like it also has a sync with the calendar and I need to get an API token. I see it's just one way syncing, which could, it's better than nothing, but I could see how that could be uh, become something that's a pain as well. While I'm in this area, I'll just click on notifications, talks about workspace notifications, which I wouldn't be using. I don't use this with Teams, it's just for myself. Uh, project notifications, which I would probably want to do. I'm assuming I would want to get notifications of like when things are due. I don't I'll have to figure out what that even means. I'm, I don't know if it's just comments or chat stuff. And then on mobile as well, same thing. But I like that you can customize whether or not you get notifications and if they're just for a project or for the whole workspace. I think if you were working on a team with this, you wouldn't necessarily want to get notifications for everything. So it's good to be able to parse that out a little bit. So I'll keep using this for a couple of weeks. I think to really know whether or not something works for you, you have to figure out if you are repelled by it or if you're attracted to it. And you'll know that within a couple of days, but definitely by a couple of weeks. And you'll be able to pinpoint what the specific things are that are repelling you. So I will come back with an update in a couple of weeks and let you know what I think about Tascade with a full review. I'll see you then.